YouTube channel and today we're on week seven of my fantasy draft for the Denver Broncos. Let's go. It's the Broncos and the Packers coming up next. And off we go from Denver. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the first Wyoming quarterback to go in the first round. Standing 6-5, it's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our plays and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. That winds up pushing it back 11 yards on the sand. And that'll bring up third. his end zone on third and long. Allen. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. And now he's got him in a great spot at the eight-yard line here. First and goal. And part of why they came to this week with a winning record is that they feed off of mistakes like this. And now it's a prime opportunity. Just moments in the game to get a short field touchdown off of their big defensive play. Now on the other side, they were already the underdog in this one. They just made their uphill battle just a little bit tougher. So now here are the Broncos with excellent field position to start off. They'll be led out by their 5'11 quarterback from Wisconsin by way of NC State, and that's Russell Wilson. And I think if you ask most folks to give you their first half MVP, very likely they're going to say it's this man right here. The NFL's leader in touchdown passes to this point in the season, still two months to go. But if he can keep going to the pace he's at, this is going to be a dangerous team come January, and he could very well walk away with it. And this is caught for the Bronco touchdown. DK Metcalf. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Second and nine now from the 21. Allen now looks to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a level shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls, or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And this pass broken up. And the contact, well time there. And now fourth down. That certainly looks like nothing to show now from these first two possessions. And guess what? When you're on a losing streak, that can lead to a full sense of, here we go again. So on the sidelines, the offensive play callers, quarterback, they've got to get together and dial something up to start their next drive. Otherwise, it could be a long game. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. But just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a tough and shedding the tackle, and now some room. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 45. A big run there, 29 yards of the first. What we saw there, that's what we know that he can do. He can break tackles and turn them into big runs, and that's what he did. And what is the buzz phrase nowadays in football for a guy like that? Contact balance. The ability to go through trash, come out the other side, avoid and run through contact, and keep your balance. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Southern to Stiff Arm University, sit down. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The 
71 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Again, it's Henry. And he'll take it into the end zone. Oh, Henry. Derrick Henry, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Broncos are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. So another rushing touchdown for him this year. Well, he's found the end zone quite a bit so far. Charles, that now an even 20 scored. second and 11. 14 nothing the score this is the NFL the Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter ball at the 24 at a second and 11 as they've got it as we resume action second down another shot for Jones shrugs him off oh he's got some breathing room and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line Give them 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. Allen now on first down. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. This defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play, but so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into air throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Now a third and six. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the Broncos will take over possession here up at the 44. Carter, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes. He could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. They'll find Metcalf. DK. Donkey Kong. DK. Donkey Kong, you see shake off the interception he'll look to throw he'll get this to his tight end it's Jonu Smith and they're able to get this one across the 35 nice way to start the drive a gain of 12 and a first down a reminder that coming up in two minutes time we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando he'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play throwing on first down is Allen eluding the pressure right and he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage they're going to need to get up and set in a hurry a second down pass play there but it's incomplete that was not a real confident throw right there and he's just two of seven to start the game now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up let's see if his confidence can increase Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit. Had him back 
back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And here's Allen. Jones has it. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 37. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Allen. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. To the air, Allen. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Allen. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up four. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And his kick is indeed good, and that will do it for this first half. So we re the second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half, let's do it. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Broncos to take over on offense. Their win streak at six coming in and counting as they've got the lead right now, beginning this drive first and ten. Fight, fight. Second half begins with a run by Henry. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And all the way home for the Broncos score. Derrick Henry, his second touchdown of the afternoon. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Flushed out right. And they work this well upfield across the 45. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. Here's Allen. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and the Broncos are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. After the interception, here's Wilson. Dancing to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know the funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. 
Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Broncos take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. A well, familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Forced out to, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack recorded, it's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Second down. Allen gonna throw. Flush to his right. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Kudos for the defense for me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. And the Broncos get there and take him down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. Get a look at DK Metcalf as this offense returns to the field. Now this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way? And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A huge play there for Denver. 52 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Escaping the pressure right. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Broncos get another third quarter touchdown to add up. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will Welcome back now to Denver. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Now Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And this is going to be brought back for a Denver touchdown. Huge, huge play by the defense. Not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for... Here's Allen on first and ten. Short throw to Smith. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Second and six, just inside the 30. Throwing now is Allen. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time. Can I get a big pick six? Buddy, ba, 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 I'm loving it. Yeah. has been rough for this offense and certainly a single caller Charles that's thrown all these interceptions another one there and this one taken all the way back for the score Parker hoping to hold a nice little spot to try again after the pick six. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. 
Rams. Javon Hargrave has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24 to throw a talent. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here. And that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. Get a look at DK Metcalf as this offense returns to the field. What a game for him, Charles. Four touchdowns. Heck, for a lot of guys, that's a good season number. <laughs> You're exactly right. And let's face it, we have to stand up and applaud this one, even though we're supposed to be neutral, because this doesn't just happen by accident. This isn't four times where the defense just falls down or breaks coverage. He's worked awfully hard, changing routes. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And, Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far until... down Allen setting up the screen here Aaron Jones and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line the drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup well they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here they set up the screen let him work out in space on the perimeter and he turns it into a big pickup Allen now looks to throw. Short throw to Smith. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and four. Now Allen. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Short throw to Smith. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays. Harder to move it. And again, it's Allen. Throw left. And I think the ball's out. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They have pressure coming, and they got him once again. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And oh my, mistake there. Backs up, takes a fair catch at the three-yard line. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Some strong running at the 20. Still on his feet. He's got a full head of steam on his horse. And he 
takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. At least they were running the ball on the final play instead of trying to <laughs> throw it to rub it in, but they still got in the end zone. I kind of blame that, though, defensively. They were just kind of not even willing to stop them. Yeah, it, they had an opportunity, but I think they looked at the scoreboard and said it doesn't matter either way, and that probably affected them on that play and ended up giving up one more score. 